Anna Gomes, uh, what is the news from Malta? Because you prepared the entire report on the situation there and everybody was very, very concerned and seriously upset after the tragic death of Daphna Caruana Galicia. Yes, I led uh, a mission of the European Parliament uh, in the framework of a resolution that was adopted by the Parliament after the, the assassination of Daphne Caruana Galicia. It was a mission, uh, uh, Panama Papers, uh, LIBE, Committee mm -hmm. of uh, Civic Liberties, Justice and Affairs, on the, under the framework of the rule of law, looking at uh, all the questions raised by the assassination of, of Daphne, as well the Panama Papers revelations that exposed uh, one minister of the current government and the chief of cabinet of the prime minister has been involved in the creating offshore companies um, just before the new, new government and while the new government. Um, and uh, that mission took place uh, at the end of November and beginning of December. Uh, I uh, was leading this mission on behalf of the Ambassador of the Panama Papers uh, Inquiry Committee. We, we drafted together the report uh, afterwards. Uh, and this report has just been uh, out last week. We will have a first re public discussion of this report uh, in the Libe Committee, in the Justice uh, 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 and All Affairs Civic Liberties uh, Committee, next week, uh, next uh, Thursday, 9 o'clock in the Parliament. I think all the political groups uh, are digesting the contents of that report. It's a report that is very descriptive of the conversations we had with all the interlocutors in a very, very intense uh, visit with the, uh, where we met the Prime Minister, the Home Ministers, we met the Justice Chief, we met the Attorney General, we met the Chief of Police, we met uh, civil society, uh, uh, elite uh, investigators from the FIU, and uh, it's a report that apart from the description makes recommendations to the European Commission and as well to the national authorities and they have a lot to do with uh, not just the, the perception of impunity and the lack of, uh, of um, uh, police investigations on the many uh, reports of the FIU uh, that indeed uh, uh, confirm uh, very serious revelations of the Panama Papers. It's a perception that is fueled by the fact that the current government keeps these two uh, uh, persons uh, in, in government, uh, Minister Mitzi, who, who is now the portfolio of tourism, but is still involved in deals such as, for instance, now uh, uh, the privatization uh, of uh, the hospitals. Uh, um, 